Deportiva y con swing. Deportiva y con swing. La factoría del deporte de este New York para ti es una máquina. Es una máquina. Pensada para ti. Pensada para ti. Número uno en las redes sale la que Con informaciones importantes siempre frescas. Y con entrevistas que te ponen de cabeza. Lo mejor del deporte lo encontrarás aquí. Búscale en las redes sale la que Suscríbete. Ay sí. Infórmate. Ok. It's very hot out there. What was the experience like just, uh, pitching in that? Say that again. You kind of went in and out. I know it was very hot out there today, and it looked like maybe you were trying to hydrate even on the mound. What was the experience just like pitching in that? Yeah, it was it was definitely hot out there for sure. Um, I'm not someone who who hydrates very well, so something I'm trying to learn um, to do better. As far as on game day, I'm great as far as on my five day, but when it comes, I get so nervous. It's hard for me to put anything in my system on game day. So it's always a battle. Um, but yeah, man, it was definitely a good win from the team. I just feel like it's momentum that we can continue to carry on into the next game um, and keep it moving. Was that just like a, some sort of cramp you were feeling out there in the fourth inning? No, I actually just got super lightheaded. I just got super lightheaded and kind of dizzy after that. After I fielded that bunt um, and threw it to Pete, so I just kind of needed a second to just kind of catch my breath and, and get back to seeing straight. Thank you. Pat. Hey, Marcus. Uh, Juan Soto has been a tough out lately. How were you able to have so much success against him today and holding him hitless? I mean, I only got him out one time. I walked him the other time, so. Um, he's incredible, man. He's incredible. You have to, you have to mix. You have to live on the edges. He he has an incredible eye. He's got incredible zone discipline. So, it's a battle. Every time he steps into the back box, you know it's going to be a battle. So, you definitely have to limit his damage. You don't want him to beat you um, over on that side. Um, he's a truly special player. So, like I said, yeah, it's it's. I'm just competing, man, and doing my best job to um, limit his damage. Thank you, Rich. Hey, Marcus, in, in that big inning where Nimmo hit the three-run homer, you extended the inning with a bunch single. Were you looking at the third baseman playing you deep? Is that why you uh, initiated that bunch? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I'm not a great I'm not a great hitter, so anytime I see an opportunity to kind of lay one down and get on to kind of push it to the next guy, especially Nimmo, who's been great with the bat all year, I'm um, just trying to do my part, honestly, um, in helping the team. Thank you. Joel. Marcus, uh, your next two starts will be right in the heart of this 13 game run against the Dodgers and Giants. I, I wonder what you think about this challenge ahead for, for you and the team to kind of a uh, little NCAA tournament survive in advance through two, the two teams that have the best record in your league right now. I live in the moment, man. I haven't even looked at tomorrow, to be honest with you. So I, I, I couldn't tell you about the next stretch, like I said. Um, I stoop, stay super present as this is team. We have a lot to accomplish right now. We have another game. Um, so we're just focused on each and every day. I don't think we're looking too forward in the future. I think when you do that, I think that's kind of when um, you start to play lackadaisical and things kind of start to go backwards. So I think staying present in the moment is the key to life. Marcus, thank you very much for your time. From Anthony Como. What did you think of Strowman, particularly uh, in those conditions out there today? I know it's very hot. It was really hot. Yeah, he's known to um, to uh, sweat profusely uh, in days like this, and that's exactly what was going on out there. And and that's when he got uh, what happened there when we came out to check on him. He uh, ran hard of the box on the on the one single. Um, he he made a couple of plays up the mound as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I mean, all the all the, the combination of those th those things led led for him to uh, get winded there. We we went out and he was, I mean, he was fine, but he needed he needed, he needed a break. Uh, and then we kept checking checking him out in between innings. And uh, man, he came out and you saw how he threw he threw the ball. Every pitch was was uh, working really well. The slider, the cutter, uh, sinker had really good movement. Every every pitch that he makes, and I thought there was I thought there was a there was a couple of pitches up in the zone that he could have got just to uh, maybe create some more things for him, but he was owning the bottom of the zone. He was having guys chase there. So uh, solid outing, um, you yeah, know, that's, that's what we need from Strowman. We got to keep backing him up with the offense.
just to look at the board and see that he's now eight and 11 in the ERA that he has. I mean, this guy's been throwing the ball like that. We got to keep backing him up with the offense. And also, did you have Baez in that game, or and will you have him for game two? Uh, same same thing. Uh, off the bench uh, right now, he's not going to be on game two. The lineup's not out yet, but we'll have we'll have the same guys out there, just McCann uh, for the lineup. Um, but Baez will be available off the bench as of now, uh, and you know we'll we'll see how he is. Thank you, Tim. Just to follow up on something from pregame, were you able to check in with Lindor or otherwise get an update on, on how he was after yesterday? Yeah, he, he's fine. Um, he's got a light day today, so uh, some treatment in the training room, nothing like the test he, he ran yesterday. Um, so he, he's, well, he's good today. You know, it's a good response out of the day yesterday. So I think it's part of the progression week to week that he has. So it's been a really good week for him. He did some things yesterday. Let, let's see what the plan is for uh, – uh, for tomorrow, but uh, we're looking at him to hit on the field maybe again and do things like that uh, uh, for tomorrow early. And what did you think of Nemo driving in all of your runs in the first game? Good. I, I mean, he's been swinging the bat like that uh, the whole season now. Uh, he's been clutch for us. Uh, he got all the runs in. Um, it's on the fastball. I mean, that's what I like the most, uh, that he was on the fastball. Uh, Hit that homer uh, and then hit that single two strike uh, the two strike approach uh, for the for the uh, RBI single, and I mean if we if we have that he's an aggressive hitter. I mean I know you guys see him taking pitches getting deep into count, but he's an aggressive pit, uh, hitter. He looks this small in the zone. Uh, if he gets that pitch in there, he's gonna swing. He's gonna he's gonna barrel it. And that's what we saw today. Brad. Hey, Luis, would you consider uh, using Diaz in a safe situation in game two? We'll see. Uh, uh, they pitched yesterday. Uh, he was one of the guys that was animated about, about pitching the second game last night after pitching the first game. Uh, the pitch count was low, but I mean, I'll have, I'll have to check. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's, we're going to do back-to-back -back days and then pitch an inning and then rest for a couple hours and then pitch again. Like, that's, that could be a little dangerous, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll check with him. Thanks. Rich. Hey, Louie, you know, Aaron Luke's gotten a lot of big outs for you this year coming out of the bullpen. And you talk about his performance. He was a little careful with Soto, but um, then he had to face Bell and had a big pitch. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're facing uh, – he's, he's coming in that situation facing their best hitter representing the time run. And uh, Aaron Luke's demeanor here and what he's done the whole year – just the same guy, even Keel, whether he's being an opener, even Keel, whether he comes in a situation like he came in today and he gets it done. Pitches were close. He got, he, he had a, a Soto down, uh, down one, two, right? And Soto's such a good hitter and was able to lay off some pitches and uh, throw the walk in. Uh, but then he gets spelled for a double play grounder. I mean, just an outstanding performance just to give us a, give us a chance to win the game. Final questions from Greg Joyce. Is Pete all right after getting hit? Was that the right hand he got in? Yeah, yeah, he, he got hit in the right hand. It's fine, um, and he's he's playing. He's playing game two. Luis, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Sigan disfrutando de la máquina deportiva, no sabe si no hay que